आई डॉक्टर एस आर पाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ जियोलॉजी जमशेदपुर वुमेन्स कॉलेज एज पर सी बी सी एस सिस्टम देर इज स्किल एनहेंसमेंट कोर्स सो इन अवर कॉलेज करिकुलम इन यूजी टू सेमेस्टर फोर देर इज एस सी सी पेपर सेरिकल्चर यू नो सेरिकल्चर मीन्स कल्चर ऑफ सिल्क वर्क बॉम्बिक्स मोरी सेरिकल्चर इज ए वेरी इकोनॉमिक्स प्रैक्टिस ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल साइंस एंड आवर इंडियन इकोनॉमी इज ग्रेटली प्रोफिटेड ऑन दैट प्रैक्टिस सेरिकल्चर बॉम्बिक्स मोरी the insect economic insect which produce sheep actually this insect undergoes metamorphosis through egg larva pupa adult the larva possesses sheath gland from where it produce a proteinous juice and uh, that undergoes pupation so when the larva will be inside the cocoon if it is boiled this salivary secretion produce the respective seal thread we culture that work to recover this silk thread and uh, from that thread we used for the preparation of different goods items so that is a very economic business sericulture i mean the culture of that silk worm is somehow become disturbed because several diseases happens on that war so our today topic is silk worm disease we have to know what type of disease actually happen in the said war in its larva in its people condition so one after one we will study such type of diseases generally the disease caused by different agents like protozoa bacteria virus fungus on that worm they disturb the economic business of sericulture so the diseases are i am representing here first of all protozoal disease under that the name of the disease is pebrine pebrine the causative agent is nosema bombaiensis nosema bombaiensis it is one type of a micro sporidian this agent this protozoal agent attack all stages of it i mean from embryonic stage from egg stage to all i mean larva pupa adult the symptom will be unable to spin 
कोकून डाई विदाउट प्यूपेशन आई मीन दिस एजेंट वेन यू लेट अप द नर्मा एट द कोकून स्टेज सो एट दैट टाइम the inactive larva become unable to spin towards the formation of cocoon and ultimately the larva die in its pupation stage now symptom transmission transmission through infected eggs or worms that means the transmission of the disease will take place if the eggs become infected previously or the worm become infected so the fresh worm fresh egg will be infected through contamination now what will be the control measure If the disease happen in that parasite, in that disease uh, insects, so what points we have to take in to control the disease? The main is the we have to make the condition disinfection. The rearing procedure will be disinfectant, and uh, several care hygienic notification should be done so that the disease cannot be occur. so control measure will be disinfection disinfection of the rearing room where rearing will be done and maintaining hygienic rearing we have to use different types of disinfection i mean bleaching powder formalin 2% formalin solution that should be used to make disinfection of the rearing room and after that during the process of rearing we should have to maintain the rearing hygienic condition okay now we will go to viral disease viral disease the first one is the flechari this is caused by bombyx mori infected flu virus having single strand rna of that virus and it is also known as cytoplasmic polyhedron virus polyhedron virus bombyx mori infected flechari virus which is also known as cytoplasmic polyhedron virus and uh, the attacking stage of that virus will be on the egg on the adult worm and symptoms will be the worm or larva will lose its appetite it will the worm will be weak and uh, some liquid type substance will it done vomit that means vomiting 
diarrhea and the worm become sluggish the worm become sluggish so fletchery is the viral digit that will be done by the agent bmifb one type of cytoplasmic polyhedron virus and when the virus will attack the egg the larva the worm the infected um, as a species will lose its appetite so um, the worm actually will be weak and that will ooze out some liquid fluid through its elementary canal that is called vomiting some liquid will discharge out through its anus that is called diarrhea and ultimately movement of the species will be stopped that means it gradually will be sluggish now transmission through diseased silk worm the worm which will be already diseased that will transmit the uh, virus into another uh, cres species and the control will be done by maintaining hygienic hygienic rearing and uh, through disinfection of the rearing room the bandages of disinfectants will be um, uh, thrown on that room so that the virus can be died and uh, the worms become free and the disease can be controlled so fletchery one type of viral disease the second viral disease is getini g a double t i n e getini the causative agent is ultravirus <coughs> ultravirus and this virus will causes the swelling of its cephalic zone head zone of the larva will become swollen and ultimately the larva will lose its appetite it becomes sluggish and also without some liquid substance that means which we call vomiting and will discharge some liquid substance through the process of by the process called diarrhea so loss of appetite vomiting diarrhea sluggish these points should be seen this type of symptoms should be seen when the virus will attack and the name of the disease is known as getini it is caused by one type of minute eyed ultravirus now transmission will be done through contamination of the diseased silk worm of the diseased silk worm or diseased leaves of the mulberry plant if it be eaten by the larva so transmission will takes place and uh, control should be done through proper hygienic process during the process of rearing and disinfection of the rearing room now next the third viral disease is the gresari gresari it is caused by beculo virus
which genetic material is double strand DNA. It is also known as nuclear polyhydrosis virus or disease. Disease. Nuclear polyhydrosis disease and the bacteria also known as nuclear polyhydrosis virus NPHB nuclear polyhydrovirus and grassari also known as nuclear polyhydro disease and uh, due to that the worm will be stout worm will be stout that means become sluggish and gradually the whole body will uh, be swollen and this condition is called stout condition and uh, the contamination will be when the worm will uh, uh, discharge is milky uh, hemosynomic fluid but, uh, the fluid coming out from the elementary canal through that uh, disease silk worm the worm the disease will discharge and that should be uh, uh, controlled by proper disinfection by making the room rearing room disinfectant then the disease will be controlled so under viral disease, we are getting three, Flechari, Gettini, and Grassiri. Now see, we have to now proceed towards the bacterial disease. Bacterial disease. Number one, bacterial fruchery. Bacterial fruchery. Or also known as gastric injury. Gastric injury fruchery gastric injury fruchery and the causative agent is streptococcus streptococcus this bacteria will attack its gut tissue elementary canal and ultimately the larvae will stop its all activity and uh, some uh, vomiting or diarrhea type of symptoms will be seen from the uh, worm. So, larva become sluggish. Larva will be sluggish, vomiting. and uh, the transmission will take place through the contamination of the mulberry leaf contamination of mulberry leaf when the mulberry leaf will be contaminated then during the feeding of that contaminated leaf that will be infected, the first one. And uh, the uh, control should be done through proper disinfection. Next bacterial disease is septicemia. 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 This is Septicemia 
safety senia. This is also caused by staphylococci. Staphylococci. And uh, this bacteria will infect the elementic end. So, body will be soft. Softening of the body and transmission takes place due to injury of the skin. Injury of the skin and uh, disinfection control should be done through proper disinfection of the rearing room and uh, the plants where the larvae are actually uh, fed on. Our third disease of the I am writing here one third bacterial disease is the Shopto disease number three Shopto disease which is caused by Bacillus thurins genesis thurin genesis sort of BT BT bacteria Bacillus thurins genesis which infects its elementary canal, other muscular tissue and other reproductive organs also. So ultimately the worm becomes stiff. The stiffness, stiff of the body. Stiffness of the body and the larva cannot work. Larva become motionless. Larva become motionless. And uh, transmission by contamination. <coughs> and uh, the control should be done. That previously, which I have already told you through proper disinfection of the uh, process practice of the sericulture system. So these three are the under bacterial disease we are getting gastric injury, fruitary or bacterial fruitary caused by streptococcus bacteria. The second is the septicemia caused by staphylococci. This is caused by staphylococci in which the body of the worm will be shocked and gradually the worm should be motionless and uh, the third is the Shotto disease caused by Bacillus thuringiensis bacteria and that will cause the stiffness of the body. Now we will proceed in fungal disease. We have already discussed protozoal disease, viral disease, we have got the bacterial disease, now we are coming on fungal disease. Fungal disease and the name of the disease is Mascardine. Mascardine. That is also known as calcino. Calcino. And it is caused by 
the agent that is Buveria Bessiana Buveria Bessiana This fungus produce conidia, its reproductive unit and when the conidia spread then the nearby worms all will be infected by the conidia of the said um, fungus. The disease is muscardine or calcino disease caused by Buveria bessiana and uh, this disease will damage its all intestinal part. Damage intestine. That means alimentary canal will be affected. The larvae will lose its appetite. Larvae lose its appetite. And uh, the problem should be solved by proper disinfection by using 2% formalin bleaching powder and uh, through the maintenance of required temperature and humidity. Then the fungal disease, the maintenance of the temperature and humidity is very essential to control the fungal disease. So, these were about on disease which has caused on the silkworm and such diseases if not properly treated so our this type of economic business under agriculture science will be disturbed and so ultimately we will be disturbed from our economic uh, side and we will be lost and uh, our government and our Society will get a great loss in its economy. Okay? Thank you.